everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and it's time for your weekly wrap-up. And I was looking at my weekly wrap-up numbers. This is number 52 of the weekly wrap-up, which means we've done this now uh, every week for the last year, which is pretty cool that we've been able to keep up with this schedule. The day has kind of shifted. I think I started on Fridays and then uh, kind of went to Saturday, then to Sunday. Now we're doing them on Monday nights, but it's still happening uh, once a week. And what's funny, I went back and watched that first episode, and uh, we were only hitting 10,000 subscribers that week a year ago. Now we're hitting 50,000. Isn't that incredible? So what a great year it's been. I want to thank all of you for your continued viewership because uh, all of that helps contribute to our search ranking, uh, which then uh, attracts more people to the channel who are looking for product reviews. So that viewership is probably the most important thing you can do uh, to help grow the channel, and I really greatly appreciate it. I also want to thank James Sinnott, who's our latest Patreon supporter. So thank you, James, for your uh, monthly contribution to the channel. It means a lot and it will help us uh, continue to grow our subscriber base. So thanks a lot for that. I did want to do a quick plug on the Bliss Box. We reviewed that a couple of about a month or two ago now, which is a, a really neat modular device for connecting four retro game controllers to your computer or Android device. And uh, check out the review. I really liked it. I'm not getting paid to plug this device. I just like it. Uh, and the creator of that uh, device had a Kickstarter. That wasn't successful, but he is uh, going to have these things manufactured anyhow. So if you go to lon.tv slash blissbox, uh, you can check out the pre-order page there. So I'm going to probably order one because I like this thing. I'm going to hook it up to my new uh, NVIDIA Shield. I am going to be going to VidCon, by the way. So if you are going to VidCon, please let me know in the comments below or send an email to lon at lon.tv. Uh, there's maybe like two or three of us that are going. Maybe we can all get together and do a meetup. I'm certainly not going to be at the signing table. I'm not up to that level yet, but I would love to uh, get together with anyone that will be at VidCon. So let me know. I'm going to be there for the duration of the event. I'm looking forward to it, actually. I just booked all my stuff today, so it should be a, a really great conference. If you're not familiar with VidCon, it's kind of like this two, uh, it's almost like two shows in one. So uh, on one hand, you've got all the industry people and all the creators who are meeting with those industry people, you know, ad agencies and production companies and everything else. And then you've got the, uh, the fan portion. So a lot of the big time YouTube stars have all of their young fans show up. And I've been told it's kind of like the, uh, the Beatles episode from uh, the Ed Sullivan uh, thing. If you go on YouTube and look for that, you'll see what I mean. Just screaming and excited people uh, at a conference that's also geared for industry too. So it should be a lot of fun. I will probably do like a little wrap up video of all the things that I experienced while I was there. So be on the lookout for that. I also want to let you know, uh, somebody pointed me in the direction of uh, Lily Pudding, which is one of my favorite sites to begin with. And I missed this story a couple days ago and I wanted to uh, bring it up for all of you because you all know how interested I am in these little cheap uh, computers on a stick. So apparently Intel uh, is going to be coming out with a Core M version of their compute stick soon. I'm looking forward to that. So probably sometime, it looks like on the roadmap here, it's going to be out uh, towards the end of this year. So right around the same time that the Star Wars movie's coming out, we're going to get ourselves a Core M uh, compute stick. So as soon as that's available, I will grab it and review it here on the channel. I think we're going to see some really nice performance out of that. So that is pretty exciting. Also this week on Thursday, I am going into New York City with Matt Zagaya, who uh, went to CES with me, and we're going to be going to the Digital Experience. Now, this is an event that happens at a whole bunch of different places throughout the year, and it's uh, sponsored by a company called Pepcom. And what's great about these events is that all of the major manufacturers of consumer electronics get into a very small space. They all have like a little table, and we walk around with our camera and get a lot of stuff on on tape very quickly. We're on a uh, uh, card now, I guess. We don't use tapes anymore, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to this because it's basically a repeat of one of the most successful uh, CES uh, coverage things that we did out there in Las Vegas. And now it's coming to New York City, which is a lot closer. So uh, look for a whole bunch of videos, hopefully, at least maybe, hopefully five to 10, maybe even 15, maybe more, depending on how successful we are at this event of stuff from pretty major manufacturers are all going to be under one roof and we'll uh, see what is coming up in the months to come for consumer electronics. So that should be a fun little event that we'll be going to. And wow, that was a lot of stuff going on this week. Uh, so if you want to help the channel, you can. You can go to lon.tv slash Patreon like James did at the outset here. Uh, that fund helps me buy the things that I review on the channel, which I later resell uh, and lose some money on. In fact, I've got this uh, Pebble Steel Watch, uh, Pebble, I'm sorry, the Pebble uh, Time, I think is this one, uh, the new Pebble Watch, uh, which I just finished shooting. So we'll be uh, doing a review of that one. This is something that I bought through their Kickstarter, which I'll probably be reselling very shortly, uh, but I will lose money on that transaction. So uh, all of those uh, 
little contributions do go a long way. Again, it's not required because uh, your viewership is really the most important thing for growing the channel. But uh, for those of you who want to help more, that's one way you can do it. You can also contribute via YouTube fan funding at lon.tv. That's a way to make a one-time contribution to the channel. So if you don't want to do a monthly thing, you can do a one-time thing from time to time. Any help is appreciated, but again, uh, not required. But I do want to engage with all of you. So go to my uh, email sign up page at lon.tv slash email. I do a email newsletter maybe once a month, twice a month sometimes. I've got to do another one. It's on my list of things to do this week. So uh, you sign up there. You can see all the things that you might have missed if it didn't pop up on your YouTube thing. Uh, you can also connect with me on Facebook at lon.tv slash Facebook. And of course, we got the forums at lon.tv slash forums. So you're welcome to uh, head over there and interact with me and other viewers as well. So that will do it for this week's weekly wrap up. I'm going to go edit this uh, Pebble Time. <laughs> I think it's called the Pebble Time. Uh, the Pebble Time Review. I'm exhausted. I've been working on this video all night. Uh, so I'm going to get this one up along with the wrap up number 52. And I want to thank all of you for your continued support. I'm really having a blast with this as I have been for the last couple of years. And I am uh, really eager to keep growing to 100,000 subscribers and more. So thanks again. And we'll see you next time. This is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching. Thank you.